Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to discuss about the advanced technology of the past. I got this on various telegram channels. Please check the description to know more about the channels. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by discussing this information. But that's the whole point. This is proof that a small occult elite of Aristan the history to fit their narrative. Anyway, I also have a telegram channel that I just created. There, I will share various information that I cannot share here. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel, the links is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. This is the head of Alexander the Great, as a young boy, 3rd BC. Wearing the headgear with a Leo on top. Where did we see Leos before? Oh, that's right, all throughout our ancient history, including the Sphinx in Egypt. I will only say, that our history is complete lie and fabrication, and that winners have always written the books to suit their narrative. Schools use reward and punish system to manipulate you into studying, which is set up in a way that's going to reward you if you indoctrinate yourself well enough for a passing grade, or punish you by failing and labeling you stupid, because apparently you didn't know the name of transitional form between amphibian and a reptile. Take a deep breath and ask yourself if the world where you're living is normal. Santa Rosa, California. What type of forest fires leave trees intact, but vaporize homes without a trace? Appliances, granite countertops, toilets, textiles, stonework, etc., completely vanished. Firefighters reported, it's like we've been nuked, never seen anything like it. On the other hand, military intelligence agencies recently announced publicly that they've been testing directed energy weapons, DUES, mounted to aircraft. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. Etrin Jordan which supposedly was carved in stone by hand, or did they use electric power tools? Etra is only accessible through a very narrow pathway in between the mountains, or by air with a helicopter. They have sophisticated water aqueducts there, carved into the mountains too. Petra is much larger than these photos suggest. An estimated 20,000 people lived there. When was Petra really carved, and what kind of electric tools did they use? By the way, scenes from Indiana Jones were filmed in Petra. This is a beautiful waterfall with a height of 3,000 feet, or 900 meters, located on the Hawaiian island of Molokai. The waterfall is surrounded on both sides by mountains. It is quite thin, and is characterized by numerous transitions down from one level to another. The water does not fall down, but slides along the almost vertical rock, falling directly into the ocean. The waterfall cut deep into the rocks, so it was not discovered for a long time. Parthenon in Athens, perfectly created in correspondence with the golden ratio, the Fibonacci spiral. The ancient architects were first scientists and then artists. Today, with modern systems and computers, we know that everything they created is based on the sacred geometry. Moray Terraces near Cusco in the Sacred Valley of Peru. Moray is composed of three groups of circular terraces, Mayas and Quechua, that descend 490 feet, or 150 meters, from the highest terrace to the lowest. 
Each Mayu has 12 levels of terraces, with the largest depression having a diameter of 600 feet. It is widely believed that the Moria ruins were used as an experimental farm by the Incas over 500 years ago. The place has an Inca irrigation system, consisting of a series of channels fed by water from a reservoir located higher in the mountains. The temperature difference from top to bottom of Amayas can range in astonishing 27 degrees Fahrenheit or 12 degrees Celsius. Also, the sun hit each terrace at different angles and intensities. Each terrace at Moray had its own microclimate. This allowed the Incas to study the effects of altitude, temperature, and sun absorption on crop growth to determine ecological niches suitable for crops to thrive. On the surface of the world right now, there is war and violence, and things seem dark. But calmly and quietly, at the same time, something else is happening underground. An inner revolution is taking place, and certain individuals are being called to a higher light. It is a silent revolution. From the inside out. From the ground up. This is a global operation. A spiritual conspiracy. There are sleeper cells in every nation on Earth. You won't see us on the TV. You won't read about us in the newspaper. You won't hear about us on the radio. We don't seek any glory. We don't wear any uniform. We come in all shapes and sizes, colors and styles. Most of us work anonymously. We are quietly working behind the scenes in every country and culture of the world. Cities big and small, mountains and valleys, in farms and villages, tribes and remote islands. You could pass by one of us on the street and not even notice. We go undercover. We remain behind the scenes. It is of no concern to us who takes the final credit but simply that the work gets done. Occasionally we spot each other in the street. We give a quiet nod and continue on our way. During the day many of us pretend we have normal jobs. But behind the false storefront at night is where the real work takes a place. Some call us the conscious army. We are slowly creating a new world with the power of our minds and hearts. We follow with passion and joy. Our orders come from the central spiritual intelligence. We are dropping soft, secret love bombs when no one is looking. Poems, hugs, music, photography, movies, kind words, smiles, meditation and prayer, dance, social activism, websites, blogs, random acts of kindness. Releasing grudges, letting go of judgments. We each express ourselves in our own unique ways with our own unique gifts and talents. Be the change you want to see in the world. That is the motto that fills our hearts. We know it is the only way real transformation takes place. We know that quietly and humbly, we have the power of all the oceans combined. Our work is slow and meticulous. Like the formation of mountains. It is not even visible at first glance. And yet with it entire tectonic plates shall be moved in the centuries to come. Love is the key to everything. You don't have to be a highly educated person or have any exceptional knowledge to understand it. It comes from the intelligence of the heart. Embedded in the timeless evolutionary pulse of all human beings. Be the change you want to see in the world. Nobody else can do it for you. We are now recruiting. Perhaps you will join us. Or already have. All are welcome. The door is open. What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this, they have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us, see you in the next video.